back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of let's play ruby veil of darkness where i continue where we last left off and uh yeah we last left off after everything happened we got done fighting in the emerald forest and i don't remember what uh what we're supposed to do now we have no missions here and yeah let's let's go out of here to the next room oh yeah there we go everyone's here uh please don't rob me <laughs> Never mind. I, I don't know why I said that. You aren't serious, are you? We came to see you. We were worried why you didn't appear at the ceremony. And what happened? You explained everything I've been told you. So you're our manager. Hey, I'm glad I have someone to turn to. At least you're not booted from Beacon. So what's this copying thing? Uh, I'm kind of like all... Wait, what? <laughs> I'm kind of like an all-in-one deal. Well, now that we find you, I'm going to bed. Yes, we need a rest for tomorrow. Yeah, I think I will sleep well tonight. You all decided to call it a night and you have... Oh, you have classes tomorrow. That's right. Today's Monday you have a class. Or you have class. So, let me fix myself real quick. So, this, these next uh, coming parts are going to be really kind of uh, boring, shall I say. Because we're going to have to progress through a whole entire week. And uh, during my time of the playthrough, it was just kind of constant going to bed, waking up, and trying to trigger events, which kind of took a while to do. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that if... Uh, now that works, I will have to cut things out. But anyways, you said through a lecture, it seems to last forever. Now this part right here, this is where I was kind of lost. Because we were stuck in classroom 1B. And then we come out here, and there's Ruby here. And, uh, hey, how's it going? Want to hang out? We can hang out with Ruby, and we can upgrade our friendship. And obviously, of course, yes, let's hang out with Ruby. Let's go around. I want to, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I want to see what there is to do around here. Let's walk and talk. Okay. So we may be friends, but we haven't had much time to talk yet. I figured now we would be a, now would be a good time to catch up. We met at Signal. Are you from around here too? Uh, small town of Southern Patch. Oh really? I'm from Signal. I was studying at Signal Academy. Your turn. Uh, do you like Beacon? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I have a rocky. I had a rocky start, but that doesn't mean I don't have to love fighting monsters. That whole deal with the Neverwar was the most fun I've had in a while. I get to be on a team with Yang and you. In a way, it's going well so far. My turn. Okay, why were you with Glinda and Osmond? That's a good Osmond came to town and kidnapped me. Should we say that? Let's say that. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, what actually happened? You explain the situation, Ruby? You actually saved an entire town from a grim attack. It's no wonder Osmond trusted you so much. I mean, I had to wonder why Osmond created an entirely new position just for you, but I think I get it now. You and Ruby talked for a long time, exchanging questions back and forth. And commercial district. The sun is setting. It's getting late. Thank you for today. I'm lucky to have met you. And then... We get Ruby appreciates you and your friendship with her. After exchanging questions, you feel like you understand her more. Friendship rank two. And let's head back and let's head back before we enter. I don't know why I can't read right now. All right, today's news saying you have class. You sit through the lecture. Literally, like I said, this has got to be kind of the whole entire video. And I'm gonna try my best to go around and trigger events. Now, hopefully, I can be able to do so. So there's Yang down here, right? But uh, what's up? We got we got nothing to do. I'm just hanging around today, so bored. It seems we have an opportunity to become closer. So we don't have anything. We can't hang out with the Yang yet. Uh, come over here. We just kind of get directions, and then come over here. Uh, we get accept missions and stuff. But uh, basically, we can't. I tried it already. So uh, accepting missions and stuff, I think, will be coming up later when with new updates. But right now, uh, it's just kind of hanging out Beacon, and I just nope. Uh, nothing's here yet. So Blake is usually found inside the library because you know Blake likes to read and um, I'm gonna call it Ruby I think is usually found outside the classroom. Yang is just kind of situated at that one spot and uh, up here is Osbin's area. Now the first time I played through this I was actually kind of lost because I had no idea where I was going and uh, I think we just literally came back to the classroom area so we're gonna leave that. Yep and then there's Yang. So we're gonna actually head back up to our dorm and knock out or sleep, shall I say. Uh, because, like I said, this whole entire part is just kind of wandering back and forth. And I think this one's Team Ruby's room. I think this is our room. Alright, your room. And where I go to rest. And then it's nighttime. But you can't do anything at night. Trust me, I tried. Alright, today's Wednesday. You have class today. You sit through the lecture. It seems to last forever. Alright, then we come down here kind of walk around now like I said we I need to do a lot of events or I'm just kind of have to wander around hopefully we'll be able to trigger events so Yang is no longer down here we're gonna go check in the uh, library just to see if Blake is there uh, I, I don't remember how long it takes for each of these events to trigger but I know for a fact that they will trigger at some point there we go Blake's right here 
Oh, hello. My head itches. I'm just browsing through the library. Looking for anything specific? I'll see you later. That's such a douchebag. I'll see you later. <laughs> looking for anything specific? Oh, well, I'm looking for Violet's Garden. I'm, but the library doesn't seem to have it. I'm pretty. I'm surprised, though. It's a pretty rare book. It's a shame. I thought maybe Beacon of all places would have it. I'll find out something else to read. So we got a new mission. Check the mission tab in the menu to check the details. Okay, then I'll talk to you later. So there we go. We got a mission. There's a mission. A book for Blake. Speak to Osbin. All right, so let's go and find Professor Osbin. Come through this part, and then we go all the way over here. Like I said, the first time I played through this, I had no idea what I was doing. I because I really never because uh, what do call it? Every time I came through this area, I always kind of stuck down here to the lower area. So I usually never noticed the stairs heading up to his area. So let's go up here. Gosh darn it! Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, Professor Osman. Good afternoon. May I be of assistance? Yes, Osman's about violence guarded. It's at the library. You can try the local bookstore. They might have it. Okay. So now we got. We're actually gonna have to leave Beacon to the bookstore. So yes, let's go to the bookstore. Now I think this might actually progress a little bit faster now since I actually know what I'm doing. But if it's your first time playing through, you're gonna be kind of struggling like I was because I remember I sat at. I think my desk for at least 30 45 minutes kind of brown like just walking around trying to see if, if anything interesting would happen and uh, I it turns out that you have to do it yourself and uh I did read some of the comments and stuff on the uh, game jolt website and stuff they're all like yeah don't add NPCs and stuff because it's sometimes hard to trigger events and stuff let's go to the bookstore yes and welcome to Tuxin's book trade how how what home to every book under the sun how may I be of assistance Tuxin, you say? Alright, and where's it? By that's garden. Alright, and we're gonna buy that. Now, uh, what do you call it? Every time we kill Grim and stuff, we actually get money, so that's how we have enough money to purchase uh, stuff. And I think we can also purchase new weapons too, by the way, but uh, we'll probably do that later when we have spare time. I'm just kind of trying to get through the main story, but I think once we get enough time, we'll go purchase some new weapons and see how that works. But I might have to conserve some cash and stuff because uh, I don't think we're going to have enough by the time the game gets to the ending. But it's alright. We're going we're, we're, we're gonna to try whatever, right? Let's go over here. We'll open the door. And wait, well, we should have just took it the other way because now we got to take this whole entire different pathway to the library, which is actually longer than the other way. So, yeah, you know, why did I take that way? I don't know. Oh, uh, okay, let's go. And Blake, are you still in the library? Yes, here you are, Blake. Hello. You show Blake the book. Is that? I can't believe you found it. As she entered the garden, she became immersed in its divine glory. Blake is reading the book aloud, quietly but loud enough for you to hear. How did you find this? Uh, there's a book store downtown. And yeah, for me, you really are something special, aren't you? Do you like to read too? Occasionally. Well, you're going to sh show me the book. Oh, no, what? I can't speak. All right, not speak. Read. Of course, I'll show you the bookstore. All right, and yes, despite her quiet nature, you can tell Blake is excited. You are now friends with Blake Belladonna. I was hoping I was friends with her for a while. All right, you and Blake part ways and return to your room. All right, sleeping. Today is Thursday. You have class today. You said that the lecture it seems to last forever. And then now I don't, I don't know what to do from this point on or point forward. Which is, uh, kind of wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, so. Blake is not in the library, Yang is not out here, and Ruby is not out here. And that only means one thing, and that is going to be having us to sleep. And, um, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's going to go for a couple episodes, I believe so. If not, I think it might only be, like, two more episodes, three more episodes before the game's over. And, uh, okay, resting. Today is Friday. You have class today. You sit through the lecture. Okay, let's go. And all the way down here. Now, we're actually going to have to browse around and check just in case I'm mistaken so right, so Yang's not down there I don't think no I don't, yeah I don't think Blake will be in the library if she is right now then I think I kind of messed up but I pretty sure you know for a fact that Blake is probably not gonna be in the library I don't want to waste uh, video footage of me going back and forth just trying to find something uh, now let's go back to bed and the video is kind of coming closer, and I'm trying to keep the video below like 10 minutes just so it will be easier to upload. But anyways, today is Saturday, you don't have class today, and I guess this is where I'll end it around 9.30, uh, or a minute, a little, 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Ruby Grim, uh, not Grim Eclipse, Veil of Darkness. If you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.